Hi and welcome to the channel. My name is Zahn and today we are doing a review on the Rabbitech Stealth X range. So the Stealth X is available in an aluminium and a carbon fiber option. This gun is an example of the aluminium option. It's a 1.2 meter setup with twin 16 millimeter rubbers. A single 18 millimeter rubber option is also available. So stock standard from the factory, it comes with a double lined wishbone. So if one of the lines do perish, you don't have to struggle replacing wishbones on the boat. You've got a spare one to keep you going. Standard on all the Rapitech guns is the spring steel plated shafts. Once again, it's used because it is extremely durable. One of the hardest shafts on the market. It's not going to bend on you and because it's plated, it is very, very corrosion resistant. So at the back, we've got the Rabitech detachable loading butt. If you do shoot your spear guns with a loading butt, it's nice and wide. It's not going to move around on your chest or slide or slip around while you're loading your gun. However, for some Spiros that do prefer to shoot guns without loading butts, and yes, there is quite a few Spiros out there that do prefer that option, simply remove the pin, take out the butt and replace the pin. And then you've got a gun without the loading butt. One of my personal favorite features is the big button safety system. Although it is nice big buttons, it's still really flush, so it's not going to get caught on anything. And it's pretty much foolproof as it is confusion free. So for me, that's fantastic because I get confused real easy. So on the right hand side, it is marked S for safe and on the left, F for fire. So if you're locked onto a fish, safety's on, all you do with your thumb that's already there, plop it into fire and then you shoot your fish. So yeah, no more messing around on the top, which is fantastic. And then the handle itself is a rubber handle that's really comfortable and it's formed to your hand. So it gives you a really, really good grip. And a tighter, better grip means better accuracy as there's no play within the handle. So yeah, that's fantastic. And then moving on to the barrel, it's one of the game changers of the Stealth X range. Your standard spear gun is usually about 28 millimeter in diameter. This is a bit thicker and you can also feel it, it's a bit thicker in your hand. And the reason being is it cancels out any flex that there might be. So if you do prefer to go for a really, really tight rubber setup or just big, big rubbers, there's going to be no, no flex in your barrel and no flex means better accuracy. And it's got a matte black paint job which looks really cool with the uh, the red mono on top and the red you see over there that is the rail that's embedded into the barrel so yeah the it's a nice deep rail and the um, shaft sits in there quite comfortably and moving on from that it's obviously got the two millimeter red mono running around to the line release at the bottom and set up with a standard bungee system However, if you do prefer to shoot with a real gun, the Stealth X range makes that really easy. All you do is you can purchase a clip-on um, reel holder that just clips on over your screws, or you can do the standard screw-in clip, um, reel clip as well, or reel seat. The real game changer is the Stealth X muzzle. So a lot of time has gone into this muzzle from Rabitech. They have done an amazing job. So this one is set up with a closed muzzle. However, you can remove the pin, take that out, and then just slide on a open muzzle system. It takes a few seconds and it's fantastic. It just gives you more options as the Spiro to set up your gun the, the way you want it. And then another really, really cool thing of the StyleTex muzzle, you'll see that little thing sticking out over there and there's a few holes in there. This is made to be converted into a roller gun if you prefer. So Rabitech have made this really easy. You just purchase a roller kit that screws in there and it takes two or three minutes. And then you've got a brand new roller gun. All you do then is just convert your rubbers to roller rubbers and you're good to go. So yeah, it just drills on there and it looks really nice. Vice versa, if you've got a Rabitech roller gun and you want to go back to your standard spear gun, you can just remove the roller kit and then go back to having a standard spear gun. If you have got a reel on there, 
there's no need to purchase anything to um, run your reel line through as the muzzle already accommodates for that so simply remove the bungee and where your bungee is attached it's actually made to hold your reel line so yeah that's really really good and uh, it keeps your reel line nice and close to your barrel so nothing out of the way that's going to get caught on weeds or whatever so it's a fantastic fantastic muzzle from Rabbitek definitely a game changer if you're a Spiro that likes to do your own thing with your gun if you want to make your spear gun your own definitely look into the Stealth X range just gives you so many options and yeah you can really take the spear gun and make it your own if you are interested in having a look at the Rabbitek range there will be a link in the description